Hello, my name is Joseph Elliott and I am the author of The Good Hawk, which you can hopefully see uh, strategically placed behind me on the shelf here. Uh, and today, as part of Peter's Summer Book Club for schools, I'm going to be reading a short extract uh, from the book for you all. Now, this section comes uh, about halfway through the book and is told from the perspective of a 14-year-old boy called Jamie, who has been crossing uh, the haunted uh, wastelands of Scotia with his friend Agatha to try and rescue his clan. And just before this extract begins, uh, Agatha and Jamie have heard some loud barking in the distance and uh, realise they're about to be attacked by some giant wild wolf creatures uh, known as terror beasts. And this is what happens next. We're running. Agatha is in front of me, even though I'm usually much faster than her. I can't stop looking at the animals. They're running towards the camp from all directions, racing down hillsides and bounding through the grass. I don't know what they are. They're barking, but they're too big to be dogs, too big to be wolves. There are so many of them, hundreds. A horn blasts, then another. People are running, pulling out weapons, jumping onto bulls. Terror beasts, terror beasts, terror beasts. Agatha pants as she runs, the words tumbling out every time she exhales. I think she's right. They're close enough now that I can make out the power in their hind legs, the sharpness of their teeth, the determination in their eyes. They're closing in on the camp. We won't make it back before they get there. They're going to kill us. They're going to kill us and they're going to eat us. I freeze. Agatha, I say, but it's no more than a whisper. She doesn't hear me. She keeps running. I'm finding it hard to breathe. What do I do? What do I do? My heart is pounding so hard it feels like it might explode. Agatha! I call out again, a little louder this time, but she's too far away. I should have kept running. I'm exposed out in the open like this. Now I don't know where to go. Some of the beasts have noticed that I've stopped. They change their course, accelerating towards me. I might still be able to outrun them, to reach the camp before they cut me off, but it would mean running at them almost head on. There's no way I can do that. I turn and I flee. That wasn't the right decision. I know it wasn't, but it's too late now. I need somewhere to hide. I'm surrounded by nothing but open grassland. A large rock to my right, a short sprint away. I can't tell how big it is or how easy it will be to climb, but it's my best chance. I speed towards it. The animals chase me. Five, ten, twenty of them. Their barks get louder. They're closing in. They're much faster than I am. Any moment, one of them is going to jump out and push me over. And there's nothing I can do to stop it. Right, well, I hope you enjoyed that and that it has whet your appetite for what the book has in store. Um, I really hope you enjoy reading it. Happy summer and happy reading!